What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Keith. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. I seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. BTS on. Make sure y'all do y'all thing and hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today. You. Yeah, it's your fifth video. Caught you. Not subscribe. It make it okay. Sometimes you don't know and stuff, but we're going to make it right today. Hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today for more content like this. Jump on the Patreon. We're going to be getting into the BTS on. Right Gotta make it right. Uh, We're gonna be getting into the BTS on explained on there and some theories and some other stuff. Mm. Uh, me and Keith, we're gonna watch this video right now and then we're gonna kind of talk about on. Um, before we get into it, what I will say about on is um, it's a spectacle. Um, I think that the dance version is so iconic and so decent that sometimes it gets away from kind of the lore and everything that they're talking about with inside the song. Mm -hmm. um, and I know last time when we did this video, some stuff is a blur. Uh, Y'all kind of getting, I'm shooting free throws right now. Um, but I just remember it being like a bunch of different theories. And I remember on was being a way for them to convey uh, how they felt about their fame. Um, you love the song Shadow. I remember mm -hmm. a lot of them talking about the shadows being like the old selves or something like that. Uh, like it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff within like the song and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but we can, uh, and I remember us having like conversations too about all the attire and everything that they had on the first time. And the deeper meanings and yeah, things that happened in the video. Yeah, I vaguely remember those. Yeah, but it's a revisit that I didn't mind doing, especially here with Keith, because now that we have a little bit more information about just the BU in general and about right. them, um, we can kind of have a better job of paying attention to the lyrics, watching the video, and kind of having the conversation again. Um, so, yeah, no long time. Let's jump into this. Uh, you weren't subscribed. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Can't hold me down because you know I'm a fighter. Aren't they like in different time, the time periods they close and shit? So, yes, because I do believe one of them has the ability to time jump. Jen. Jen. Has the ability to time jump. We miss you. Real niggas now. Okay. I'll say it after the video. I think an angel is about to speak. Well, I say Obviously talking about traveling. Shadow resembles me. Give up. 
Let's get that water tested out first, JK. I always wanted a couch. Are you ready to raise, raise demons? You want to do the battle cry? Yeah. I forgot about the dance side, uh, but... I forgot this was over here. Yeah, me too. This is my third time in life watching this video. I always go back to the other one. Fucking the fellowship of the ring. Yeah, it did. Definitely. Isn't it even seven in the fellowship? <laughs> no more dream turned into just a dream. <laughs> they even had the Eagles are coming uh, moment. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles are here. <laughs> the Eagles are flying, Gandalf. Yeah, like, <laughs> he said, why didn't the Eagles just take you to Mordor? So it was hey, explained in the book that they can't. A story's gotta happen. A story's gotta happen. Um, yeah, it's a. Make sure you subscribe. It's like nah. Um, I'm very interested to kind of see uh, like an explanation mm -hmm. or like an explain. Um, I think, and like I said, I'm vaguely trying to remember comments. I think someone said that RM said that the song is open to uh, interpretation. Interpretation with like quite a few things. Um, that to be honest, that's one of my favorite things with BTS is when some of the songs are more opened up to interpretation. So that way you kind of can pull elements that you kind of see that maybe somebody else doesn't see. Right. And I feel like that's kind of like the beauty and not only reacting, but just kind of listening to their content and also being able to engage with redeemers and talking to them and kind of like trying to pick people's minds. Um, cause it was a lot. Um, and I completely agree. There are a lot of keywords with BTS, and y'all might have different keywords around like y'all group of friends. But Shadow is definitely anytime I hear it, um, like a key, uh, like kind of trigger. Anytime I hear it, see like piano being used or mm -hmm. or any type of like you know words, <laughs> certain BTS words that kind of just like stand out a little bit. So like I said, the whole kind of first verse with them kind of talking about the shadows and everything like that is very intriguing. Um, just so many different parallels and so many things I think kind of going on here. Um, I definitely feel like they're talking to their older selves at times mm. or at least explaining um, what got them where they are now or certain things like trials and tribulations that they had to go through mm -hmm. to reach the level of success that they're at now. Mm -hmm. Some of the hurdles of uh, like fame and just, you know, I think even earlier someone was talking about, you know, you, you blinking and you in Paris and you here and you somewhere else and the hustle and bustle of being an idol. Um, and they discussed that on here and a lot of other tracks, I think, very, very well. Especially on this album, too, because I think my time is on this album. And J.K. kind of yep. echoes these, those sentiments of flying from here to here mm -hmm. um, and not really having his own time, just being everywhere at Mm -hmm. almost all at once so i i love all that um from a production standpoint with this song too i also love how um v and um jimin set the song up a certain way and then rm is kind of like slowly like put in there and then it goes through everything when hope and should come on that it bring the pain like it kind of turned into like kind of mm -hmm. like a like a like a bop kind of like mm -hmm. a whole thing 
And even Suge's energy, just almost on y'all can say whatever y'all want. I don't give a fuck about nothing that y'all talking about. Right. Um, and I love when he's on Demon Time. Um, so, like, I'm a sucker for that. Um, there's so many elements and so many things that work in the song. And the song, obviously, like, you know, is a bop. We play it a lot. Um, and I sometimes watching the dance is the, the dance is so iconic and so amazing that the so, I don't want to say the song gets left behind in my opinion but sometimes I'll be so stuck on the choreography and what's going on that uh, I'm glad I'm getting able to appreciate the song a little more um, this is what I would say I, I, I hear you and I agree but for me it's it was the opposite no no no, no. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so used to the dance version right and I think the song takes on a completely different meaning with a different visual. Oh, okay. So for on the dance version, the lyrics mean something completely different. <laughs> um, as opposed to the theatrical version where there's so many layers, so much lore. Mm-hmm. And it's not, even, it's not even like we're spoon feeding you piece by piece. We're only get like what they're doing is essentially, hey, there's like 10 chapters here. We're going to give you three lines from one chapter of this whole book. And then we're going to go right on to the next book. It's on you to go back and kind of figure out the rest. Because like there are some hints to where to their powers as far as time traveling, as far as um, being in a dream world. Because I, I think that's where hope is. Or hope is in the future because in the background you see J.K.'s body being pecked on by crows after he fell. But also J.K. wakes up and then goes into the river. And then there's a... Uh, handcuffs turn into the, the conch. Um, even they kind of go back into the dark versions of them with the hoods that you see in like um, the extended version for mm-hmm. those that have watched it of Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Um, I don't know if they had them in, no, I don't think they had them in Fit Club, but I know they also used them as props during the concerts. Mm-hmm. Um, they would have like the hoods with the white mask and even in that era, you would definitely see white masks floating around. You kind of saw them in a uh, Singularity, uh, his video things as well like they definitely touch on some of those things and even like the fire that comes down and like burns everything i think that's the end of the battle that what you see in the beginning when jen's walking through the battlefield um it's like so much but they don't necessarily spoon feed you piece by piece this is what happened this will happen next this is where going so it's kind of like it really does leave it to your interpretation and that's kind of why i'm interested in hearing the explanation because there might be something said in the explanation of like, yo, that's a reach. And, but it might make sense in the grand scheme, but... You're allowed to reach though now. Right. Once they kind of say it's open to... Yeah, because it's so, it's so wide open. Mm-hmm. And it's not like very definitive as far as the information. Like the fact that he picks his bird up, pulls the arrow out, and then the bird comes back to life. Like, I know Jim... Jen... I did say Jen. I, I don't know if it came out as Jim. But Jen's like uh, powers like time travel. Um, did that have something to do with the bird coming back to life? Did I have? Or- I think you can argue that some of the video is about rebirth mm. uh, because, um, like, literally, you come on and it's death. Yeah, everything is like, uh, like obviously was on fire and mm-hmm. damaged, and by the end of everything, everything New is growth regrowth. And um, so I know some some of the video probably a, a touch on that, um, but I am with you on like all the on the concepts. I even love the tell and the the kind of like no more dream thing kind of like takes you back to the beginning plus mm-hmm. the song is called on it's kind of i think a flip on no yes um if i'm not mistaken i think that was something that they said too um it, and he has like the whole noah's ark vibe but they're mm-hmm. talking about rain um you know and that's another thing they talk about um like sky keeps falling uh rain keeps falling sky keeps falling it's like there's always going to be something bro mm-hmm. there's always going to be a problem there's always going to be an issue the sky's going to fall mm-hmm. every day or how are you going to handle that Mm-hmm. Are you going to be with me when those things happen? Are you going to ride with me? Are you going to leave me? I'm going to be here. If, I, if you find me and like, if my music hits you, if you find solace in us, if you like, if your army, we're going to live with you. Like, and it, it sounds like a weird phrasing of words, but the music will live with you. Like, we'll get you through this. You'll get us through this. We are going to coexist and be, you know, a symbiotic relationship. And you're going to live with us. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's awesome. And, uh, like, again, something maybe in the, in the beginning of our journey, we've been kind of like, oh, that's just what they say to get fans, blah, 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 blah. 
but like you kind of see it come to fruition in the way they act, interact. And like, we're not talking about, oh, the camera's watching, let's be nice to everybody. No, these are who they are. This is who they are. Like, they, they do, they go out of their way for ARMY. An army goes out of their way for them. Like, it's such a symbiotic relationship that you see between superstar and fan base. And it's, you, you really don't see it without a majority of them just being super toxic or being one-sided. Mm, I'm off for it. No, no, you're good. Are go, you going to let me do it? No, you're not. Um, what, go to Sugar Spot? Well, really, um, I don't want to turn this into a situation where I'm just reading verbatim. Um, no, go ahead. No. <laughs> be my nah, guest the the whole verse too where he was uh light talking let me get past bring the pain the no fear and that and i know the way it seems like you know we've already kind of did mm-hmm. our thing as youths and stuff we're a few years in we kind of know like the k-pop journey and everything breathe on the small things mm-hmm. it's okay i'm with you it's in my air and my light in the dark the power of things that make me me. Mm-hmm. It was like, okay, bro, I see where you going. Even if I fell, I come right up and scream. Mm-hmm. You go right in the sugars verse. And he says the same thing. And I, I feel it, though. That's how we've always been. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, you know, we still have our same core values and everything since we've been young boys and shit. This is us. I love this. Even if I fall to my knees, drop to the ground, watch this next part. It's good, as long as you don't get buried. Mm-hmm. It means I'm gonna come back almost from anything and shit. Um, I like their energy, man. They is it's they do such a great job of utilizing every single member in different ways to always make tracks not boring. Um, and I feel like that's what made me fall in love with K-pop, mm-hmm. and really what made me fall in love with BTS is that sometimes if groups, um, make sure y'all check out our older content because we touched a couple of these points already and you guys will love it. Um, but sometimes with groups, you have members who are, who are very repetitive um, mm-hmm. in the sense of it's just like, <laughs> imagine a basketball team and just everyone just shoots threes. Uh, no one plays defense. Uh, no one grabs rebounds. No one is Look, a playmaker. Man, the Warriors got three rings, bro. You can't keep harping on them. I mean, they, they have got, they got four <laughs> rings, but well, I mean, I would argue even when they had the rings, Eagle Dollar does a little bit of everything. He does. Draymond Green does a little I bit mean, of everything. If, if um, aliens came down to Earth and you need somebody, <laughs> to take the flash. um, I I hope that analogy worked for y'all. All I'm saying is is that even uh, like within vocal line, we've always talked about how vocal line. And personally, I feel like all four members can like do anything vocally, but when it comes down to the core base of who they are, their sounds all work together, and they don't kind of overlap each other completely. And mm-hmm. even when they do, it's done purposely. Um, it's the same with rap line. Um, like I feel like if RM was to start off the song, um, Hope would go either in a different direction, mm-hmm. just to kind of give like his verse and cadence a whole different feel. Yeah, and then Suge would just go in a whole other direction too. That mm-hmm. way, you don't feel like you're, you're just kind of getting same the same thing. thing over and over again. Um, even just how they would go about approaching tracks, where if RM's verse was like "fuck the haters," he might do it in a more po- po- poetic way. Poetic way. Whereas Suge would be like. Fuck the haters. Suge might just be more so straight up, almost like a rap cipher way, mm-hmm. and Hope might do it in a more melodic, melodic way. Melodic yeah. way. Um, and I feel like it, it kind of just works well. And I feel like tracks like these emphasize uh, like how well everyone plays off together. Even the the Hope energy was a little bit different, and it was paired well with what was going on with Suge. So mm-hmm. um, all that being said, outside of what they were talking about from a production standpoint, I feel like this was very elite. Oh. Uh, Reseeing some things? Okay. A uh, few things. Um, one. Shit, this might be an explained video from us. Right. How about it? Um, <laughs> Theories. Jim and standing in front of all the drums. I always thought that was weird. But the type of drum that it is, it's like one of those, exactly. What I'm saying exactly like you can see, but like it's a battle drum. And so those battle drums the drummer boys used to have. Right. To like so the fact that there's so many piled up means there's been so many wars lost. So many innocents like have been, you know, have been perished. Like these are all like, it's almost like having a, a graveyard uh, per se. And this is a nice just, way of showing it without right. being over the top. Like we just lost so many battles, so many battles. Um, even, uh, who else was I going to say? Um, JK, V. 
Should cope. All right. <laughs> oh man, I just had it too. But um, when J.K. went to get the um, the conch from the water, and he blows it, it's almost like he's seeing the past or whatever it was because the dark J.K. had the conch in his hand, holding it up, okay. and then that's when the battle happened. So maybe it was lost during the battle. And he's seeing the dark side or, you know, the shadow versions of them kind of take over. Mm -hmm. um, there was one more thing I wanted to say uh, as far as who's uh, backdrop or whatever, whatever, and how it fit. But um, I really can't think of it offhand. Either way, this show was fire. Amazing video. Um, again, it's, it's one of those things that's very, very open-ended. And you just kind of really wonder where it falls in the place at. But it's definitely a fire job. Nah. And I'm going to um, be really mad that I can't figure that out. Nah. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is uh, I wanted to give YouTube a treat um, and wanted to jump into a live performance of On oh. also. Oh. Um, hopefully this doesn't get blocked. Um, if it does get blocked, I'll try to minimize it as small as I can. Um, if not, and I had to put it completely like on Patreon or something like that, I'll do it, but I'll put it on there for free, for free. which means you can just go in there and you can click it regardless of anything else. But definitely make sure y'all jump on there because we're getting into the explained and some theories video mm. to discuss that a little bit more. And it's going to be some other stuff that's going to be dropping BTS related uh, coming in the same day that you guys receive this. Uh, but yeah, we can jump into the live performance. Oh, that's what it was. Shit. <laughs> you can have talk while you're going on here. <laughs> so, in Sugar's backdrop during his rap, it's a lot of red colors, and everybody's wearing, like, yellow bandanas. I wonder if it had anything to do with, like, the Yellow Turban Rebellion in China. This version? Yeah. I don't think so either. Let's go, Jen. That's what I wanted to say at the beginning of the last video. He's slowly, like, in my top three as far as Jibbin, Sugar, Jen. It's a lot of good reasons. That's kind of like, how I'm feeling. It's a lot of good reasons to stand him. Stop playing. Stop fucking. Stop playing. Hey. Give him a face. Mm-hmm. Bring the pain. Hey. <laughs> Jay Hope. Oh shit, the. Uh huh. I love that the shit, on that shit is so smooth, yo. And then she could walk off and then walk back. <laughs> hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. When no matter what. When no matter what. When no matter what. I don't give a. I don't give a. Shit. I like that sweater. Let a courier when I do the hand that ah uh, ah uh, then Jim fucking front and center where you belong. <laughs> yeah, he don't yo, and even in the dance video, he killed that, bro. Here we go. Iconic. <laughs> Oh, 
think they did a dance break? Nope. Nope. It's fine. I, I get it. JK in the back is crazy. Oh, ad living? Oh, yeah, he was snapping. He in the back, like, bring that pain away. <laughs> Song is so dope, you don't even know that the dancers don't even have real drums. <laughs> that end was iconic, bro. Shit. They tried to, they tried to eat up. A little bit. I see what y'all did here. With the wink. All right. All right, my guy. With the slow-mo on the end. That was fire. That was I a fire, John. Iconic. Iconic. Definitely a fire, John. Yes. And that's what I told you. Like the, he like, you should know. <laughs> the, the choreo is so crazy. Sometimes you can get lost in it. Um, but it's... After uh, like listening to a song a lot, I, I try to like find out what's going on with the background, mm-hmm. see what runs I missed and everything else and stuff. And um, JK was being a tactician. Um, uh, throughout a lot of it, um, like when Rap Line comes in, I think they do a lot of their ad libs and stuff, especially when they get into that, whoo, like, like, yeah. like, like that vibe and stuff. But, but the, it was also the, the production too. They drop yeah. some stuff they, out. They, they drop it and they move some you stuff just got, out. Now you just got the drum chorus sound mm-hmm. and, you, and you got the trumpets, like the, uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, like, yo, like it's so, so sexy. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's, it's a masterclass on production, especially when you're trying to like utilize certain things mm-hmm. where it's just like, oh, okay, we need the raps to hit a little bit harder. Let's kind of remove everything. We want these vocals to hit. Because I don't think like a, ma- a major key change happened towards the end, but you definitely hear more layering and it's definitely more runs, mm-hmm. um, ironically runs, uh, going on at the tail end of everything. Um, this is just a master class. This is one of those songs that you kind of can just... Choreo go um, up, bro. This is definitely one of the songs where if you want to show somebody what K-pop is. Yeah. Um, In this can, day and age. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Cause you could actually show them a couple of BTS joints. Well, I, I could argue. I would go on. <laughs> I would go Black Swan. That was a segment. We was joking about it before. Oh, we were talking about um, um, K-pop songs you could show your friends. Okay. Um, I mean, all of them. Yeah. Fuck them, niggas. Yeah. Well, well, some friends and shit. I'm not going to go into a tangent and shit. The other yeah. people are... Close-minded. Very close-minded. And t- some people wanted me to talk on some stuff or, uh, about trying to introduce other friends to BTS and what was going on and stuff. I probably will at some point in a different video because um, people can be very like closed-minded. Some people can even be a little bit nasty or offensive. Mm-hmm. And sometimes uh, I've always been taught like you don't want to talk politics, religion, uh, sometimes relationships as well um, with, your, with your folks. Certain folks. People will start talking and... You see a whole different side of them and you're like, yo, I didn't know you was like that, bro. Xenophobia is very real and sometimes just pure racism also is like very real yeah. and uh, being a black man I'm just the last thing I'm gonna do is discriminate anybody else for anything that's being done just cause I know how it feels mm-hmm. not to turn this great video into like a nasty uh, like segue and shit right but um yeah social, feel, social commentary yeah like you know so uh, we'll, we'll have a discussion about that have you have you shown anybody else BTS outside of like anything outside of, obviously you and your daughter do um so I I have and I've tried to um, have people been receptive to it? So here's the thing. Like, you know me. I don't, I, don't, I don't really fuck with a lot of people, period. So when I say I've shown a lot of people, I've probably shown about two or three. Okay. And that's a lot for me. There's a, I, I don't fuck with everybody. Um, but some of them been receptive. Some, depending on the song, because like I, I explained it how I always explain it. It's the, song, it's the music that you liked in the 80s and early to the, or 80s, 90s, early 2000s that they don't make anymore. And what was funny getting off subject for a little bit um what was funny was there was a video where neo was asked yo um is the boy band dead he was like no it's just in korea out of his own mouth and he was like mm-hmm. it's and he literally almost verbatim was like it's it's the mu- it's the music that you love it's just not made here mm-hmm. um so that's kind of how explaining some of the songs i let people listen to they like vibe with or they give a head shake they're like oh no that was cool they try to be nice or whatever whatever but you can kind of see that they're just not feeling it. Some will be like, oh, it was nice, it was cool, and, but it's not something that I will listen to, and then I'll put on something that they will listen to, and it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just more recognizable to you, so it's okay. 
Um, but I mean, like I was telling my daughter, like things are a lot more open minded. I couldn't get away with watching anime when I was a kid. You know what I mean? And I was a geek or a nerd or, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I couldn't get away with, like, knowing details about stuff. Like, yo, 2 plus 2 is 4. You know math? Like, get that nigga. <laughs> it's like, so, but no, but um, all jokes aside, but, like, there was a certain level of stupidity you had to have to be cool. Uh, as weird as it sounds, or ignorance, I'll put it that way, to be cool. Um, but if you were too knowledgeable or were too tapped in to, like, different things other than what was comfortable to other people, K-pop would have been one of those things. Um, you were an outcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, table that and have more of those conversations. Probably for a more BTS-centric video that maybe is associated with kind of some of the same things or just open-ended discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, but want to leave on a good note. Shout out to BTS. It's an amazing track. Like Love I said, the song, the, um, definitely a 10 out of 10 on every single level. Mm-hmm. Song you can brag about. I wouldn't be surprised if Owen is in a lot of people's top five or top 10 for their discography. Um, I think out. it was Amon. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't uh, for a moment, um, but we had got introduced to like so much stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it's one of those things where I get it if it is. Even if it's not Amon, I understand. Um, but yeah, jump in the comments. Give us a little bit more information um, if we missed out on anything. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the live performance of this. Definitely going to be doing our best to give y'all some live performances that we can. Um, some of the stuff that's blocked, make sure you guys go on Patreon and go check that out. Also, it's uh, explain uh, like videos up on there, Run BTS, In the Soup, Bon Voyage. Uh, this month, we will be getting into the Disney Plus stuff, um, hey. which was D-Day and I think Jack in the Box, if I'm not mistaken, those two and a couple other treats on the Patreon as well. I want to go back to like J-Hope music so bad, bro. Uh, we will. We'll be some revisits and other uh, situations like this where we can just kind of dive in on like tracks and really have an open discussion. Daydream came up on my playlist and I was like, yo, I remember when I first heard this shit. It you know, I'm a real, so I'm a real good, big bro. ego guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, jump in the comments, give us more info. Um, waiting for Pete and Julio because I wanted them to be here for either the hardship video that's going to be uh, like coming out because I don't think you, you weren't here neither when we did a hardship video. I don't think so. You weren't here for the hardship video. Um, so that should be an interesting joint for you as well. Um, and we'll be doing one of the guys that y'all suggested. Um, but yeah, we love y'all. Redeemers. We're going to highlight y'all. Peace.